Hey guys, Pearl1701 here, and today I'm going to be reviewing part three of The Sensorites, the final complete classic Doctor Who story I haven't seen yet. And um, I'm still enjoying the story, actually. I mean, we start back, of course, where we left off on the ship with Susan agreeing to leave with the aliens, and of course our TARDIS team not having any of that, and the Doctor putting the knowledge he's learned that the Sensorites can't see in the dark to use to but he doesn't take advantage of it. He just does it to show them that he doesn't want Susan to leave. So the Sensorites, I think, respect the fact that, that the Doctor kind of knows one of their weaknesses, but he's not exploiting it other than to keep Susan and the rest of them safe. Um, basically, what we get at this point is a nice change of scenery. We get taken to the Sensorite planet sensosphere or whatever it's called so it's a nice change of scenery the set design looks really nice i actually think it looks good i love the little the little uh paintings on the back that are supposed to be i guess the landscape of the area those look really good uh and are painted well then we have this nice little b plot uh going on within the sensorites themselves where the leader called the first and the second in command called the second want to hear what the doctor has to say and not just assume that the humans are hostile <clears throat> because they they can kind of sense that you know the hum the doctor is there with peaceful intentions but then you have the guy who's kind of the governor of the city who doesn't like humans is completely against the idea wants to kill them and he's got another guy who mans the little disintegrator kind of on his side. So there's some nice friction going on within the Sensorite community, basically with one group who says, okay, these humans seem peaceful. Let's hear them out. Uh, and this other group is like, no, 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 all the bad things started happening when they're here, they must be bad. Because apparently the humans have been on this planet before. The ship they were in exploded. And then that's when the Sensorites began dying to some kind of disease they can't cure. So it's nice to see that infighting, and of course that's going to come into play later. Uh, the governor of the city almost killed the doctor and uh, Susan and uh, the, uh, Ian right there with the disintegrator beam. But luckily the, the second came in and stopped him and basically said, you know, give me the firing pin and telling the kind of the governor of the city, you know, you know, I, I don't really trust you. You seem to have problems following orders. You know, pray that my thoughts don't become reality. And then took the key away. The guy, I really like the Sensorites. I like their mask, their their costume design. Looks really good. Very convincing the way the eyes are done. It's a, it's a really good alien costume. It works really well. And But again, I'm enjoying the kind of B-plot with the, basically the, schism that's forming in the Sensorite community with one side pro-human, one side kind of anti-human. That's interesting. It's going to be fun watching that develop. Because with three episodes left to go, of course things are going to go to pot. It's just going to happen. Uh, William Hartnell is putting in a great performance in this story. He is really firing on all cylinders here. He's I love not just what he's saying. The dialogue is really good, but his physical mannerisms. I like the fact he's not taking anything from people. The bit at the beginning when uh, he's talking to Susan and the aliens are like, you know, we read the uh, the doubt in her mind or whatever. And the doctor is telling them, yeah, be glad you can't read the anger in mine. You know, my granddaughter and I have never had an argument and you just caused one. I really enjoyed that bit of dialogue. So, and then the cliffhanger with Ian having drank some of the non-crystal water, which I'm sure is how the poisoning is getting around. The crystal water is probably safe. The other refined water is probably poison. I would, that would be my guess. So it's a good cliffhanger of Ian falling down unconscious and everyone else wondering what's going on. So halfway through the story now, I'm liking it. Again, I don't know if it's going to stall out or if it's going to take some turn that's eye-rolling. I know it's not the most popular story, and maybe maybe it's just one of those situations where it's six parts, it's too long. Uh, but halfway through it, at least on first watch, because you never quite know how a story's going to hold up on repeat viewing, uh, but on first watch, when, of course, you're experiencing it for the first time, I've enjoyed the first three episodes. I'm liking the new setting, being down on the planet, and I'm loving the scenery for that. But thus far, I'm liking the Sensorites. I think it's uh, really good. And we do know that John, the astronaut who's 
very much affected by what's going on, can sense there's at least some of the sensorites have ill intentions because he can kind of tell the sensorites that are, have good thoughts from the sensorites that have bad thoughts. So that's also pretty interesting. Also, the actor playing him is doing a really good job. I really, really like him. So, episode three of The Sensorites. What do you think of it? Comment down below and let me know. Other things to do. Don't forget to click the like button and the subscribe button. That helps me out, and my goal is to reach 1,000 subscribers in 2023, so I certainly appreciate it. I also have a Patreon if you would like to support me on that. There is a link to that down in the description below. That does help me keep the bills paid, especially a lot this year. I want to give a shout out to some of my top tier patrons, Stephen Crane, Colin Coney, and Finn Perkins. I appreciate their support as I do the support of all of my patrons. I also have a P.O. box down in the description as well. Uh, if there's anything you would like to send me to look at and review, this was actually sent to me by one of my subscribers, the Sensorites was. Uh, I believe uh, Unknown289 sent this one. I certainly appreciate him sending that. He's actually sent me several things, so I'm very uh, grateful for all of the support he's given this channel. Um, and then I also have a link to my Amazon wish list down there as well, which I update regularly if you would like to check that out. Most importantly, though, thank you for watching.